Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alma and this is Couponing with Alma. I am super excited that you're back or I'm super excited that you found one of my videos and decided to click on it and it's your first time here. I um, am so happy that you're here and um, yeah, to my subscribers that keep coming back to my videos, I appreciate you so much and um, yeah, thank you for sticking around. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about Big Lots. Now, Big Lots is a uh, store that you cannot use uh, manufacturer coupons. So why am I talking about it on my couponing channel if you can't use coupons, right? So I have shared some Big Lots haul videos and um, I've done a clearance video as well, clearance haul video as well. And um, it's a store that I am now addicted to. Like I want to go and check all the time because when they do have a clearance, they have great clearance. So I wanted to just kind of come on. I have a purchase that I did and um, it was a great deal. And it was, I did use um, a Big Lots coupon. So they don't accept manufacturer coupons, but they do have their own promotions and they have a reward program that um, I wanted to chat about today. So if you have Big Lots in your area and you wanna know about their reward program, then yeah, stick around, I'm gonna talk about it. So let's, um, let me go ahead and pull up the information on the reward system and let's review it. On the Big Lots website and here you can read about their reward program. So they identify it as a new big rewards and I don't know when it changed or what it was before, but um, I have been utilizing their reward program probably for about the last month and a half or two and this has always been the program. So it might have been, it must have been, you know, way back that um, it was updated or changed and so they refer to it as the new big rewards. And here you can see they kind of explain um, that they've added some new benefits to the reward program and um, that existing members would be transferred to this new program. So what is the program? It is their reward program and it is really pretty simple. So here you can see that they explain three purchases equals a $5 reward. So for every three purchases that you make, you can, um, you will get a $5 um, reward. And what that has been for me, and I don't know if it's always this way, but they have been for me, it's $5 off a $15 purchase or a $15 savings on a $75 purchase. So I will show you that here in just a second. And then furniture, they do have a bonus that you get for furniture items. And it includes, you know, patios, umbrellas, gazebos, and then home furnishings as well. So for those items, you earn $10 for every $200 you spend. So say you purchase some uh, a chair for $400, then you're gonna get a $20 bonus. And that is separate from, you know, the other, the three purchase reward. And then they explain that they do have VIP shopping days. So all reward members get an additional savings on specified days. And it is 20% off and it's during those uh, specified days and they will announce it. And so that is just an extra little bonus. Um, so the more you buy, the more you save. And they also do birthday surprise um, bonus and rewards. And it is, I have seen that they are like percentage off rewards. And uh, so that is a good thing. You can use them for anything in the store. Their rewards can be used for anything in the store. So, all right. So now let's take a look at how do you get an account and why should you create an account? Well, there's a couple of reasons that I think are good to have an account. Um, it allows for a faster checkout and you can actually save your payment information and shipping information 
if you have an account and you are shopping online. I haven't tried to use a payment method that's linked to my account in a store, but it is helpful when you're shopping online. And you can track your purchases and orders. So when you order online, you have an account, then it tracks that purchase, that order. And um, it also tracks your, you know, your spending at Big Lots. So all of your transactions, your receipts, um, they are logged on your account. So, and then online, you are able to create wish lists and manage a list of items. I've never used that feature, but um, it is there when you have an account. And then you can manage your communication preferences. Do you want a newsletter? Do you want to get notified you know, of different things? So the, that is a good reason in itself to have an account. But then there are benefits for having a reward account. Um, signing up for an account is super easy. You just create an account. You have to have a good email address, create a password, and enter you know, your information and you will have an account. Um, you'll get a card in the mail if you want to have a card, but it's really not needed. You can, um, you can just use your phone number that you assign with the account. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is, here is my reward account, and um, it'll tell you if you have, an, if you've earned a reward. So here you can see at the top here, it says, act fast. You have a, a reward that is expiring soon. And you can click here and see all the rewards that you currently have. Now, it is tracking right here. I just got a reward. So that is what is pending here, is a reward. And so now I am back to zero. Remember, every third transaction, every third qualifying purchase um, gets me a $5 reward coupon for anything in the store. So I am starting over again. I have zero out of three. When I do my third transaction, I will then, um, in a day or so, get the reward on my account. And I'll get an email as well. You can um, click on the email and it will take you to your coupon that you uh, earned. So, and then it, here it just you know says, only one reward issued each week. You can expect to receive your reward within seven to 14 days via email, um, and returns can impact your reward. So I will tell you that it does not, does not take seven to 14 days. However, I guess they wanna put that in the language in case you know there's a delay of some kind. For me, it's only taken a couple of days and after my third um, purchase to get my coupon. And it will immediately show on my account as a pending reward, um, like this one does. It says I have one pending. And you can see here, if I clicked on that, I could show you the uh, pending reward. So, and you can manage your rewards, your communication. You can look at your purchase history and view any kind of available offers and, uh, and enter receipts for things that maybe you purchased um, say you go into the store and you forget to give them your phone number for your purchase because you're not using any kind of savings or anything. But remember, you do want your purchases to be tracked. So if you forget in the store, you can come here and you can enter your receipt to your account manually. All right. Now, the let's move on and let's look at... my account, my specific reward. So here is a reward that it says I have pending. I have a five off 15 or 15 off 75 reward pending. I can either print this coupon, I can take a screenshot of this and I would not take a screenshot of this here. I would print this, um, but if what I have done is from the email notice, that says you have a coupon, they send you a link and then it will give you a barcode that you can um, take into the store, they scan it, and your coupon is applied to your transaction. 
So know that each of these have only a one-time use and they are exclusive for you. So the coupon is linked to your reward account and cannot be used on a different reward account. So they are specific to you and the uh, purchase activity that is on your account. All right, so here we have the um, FAQs on their program, just kind of questions that, um, that you may have, that most people have. They've kind of given answers here. It says, how will I receive my reward? And we can click on that and it says, you'll receive your reward via email to the email address associated with your account within seven to 14 days. Um, can I access my reward any other way? Yes, you can log into your account um, at biglots.com and check to see if you have any offers available. What can I spend my rewards on? Almost the whole store, except um, price holds, rentals, deposits, charitable donations, um, milk, dairy products, eggs, and gift cards. So almost the entire store with those exclusions. Can I use more than one reward in a transaction? Yes, you can use multiple rewards in the same transaction and even on store-wide coupons like friends and family and buy more, save more events. You are limited to two total discounts for online purchases. So they can be combined and used together even during the, um, the friends and family discount days or events that they sometimes have. So that is great. Um, does my redeeming reward count as I purchase towards the next reward? So this is the thing, you have to purchase three transactions and then you get a coupon. When you make a purchase with that coupon, is that your new number one transaction? And the answer is yes it is redeem a reward in a qualifying purchase and then you're only two transactions away from your next reward so that is pretty cool that it counts can i share or use my reward more than once and the answer is no you cannot share your rewards it is um re can only be redeemed using your reward account and um rewards can only be used one time a single time do rewards expire? This is very important because I had a big reward expire on me and I thought I had more time than, than I actually did. So rewards are only valid for 17 days from the date that you receive them in your inbox through email. So when you get a reward, you have 17 days to use it. It will have a very specific expiration date and you should pay attention to that. Um, buy three times and get a $5 reward. What is considered a purchase? A purchase is any in-store or online transaction and excludes gift cards, rentals, donations, and price hold transactions. You need to present your card at checkout and or be logged into your account to earn rewards. So a purchase is just that, a transaction in which you give your reward account and it is tracked on your account. Um, does a return account, does a return count as a purchase? No, of course not, it does not. If you get a partial return where additional merchandise is purchased within the same transaction and the total transaction amount is greater than zero, then it could apply. So you can't purchase something, return it all and then the amount you know, is zero. So that means it's a net of zero, right? It's a zero purchase because you returned everything. However, if you have a partial return, it's possible that like if I, or if I bought $50 worth of stuff and I return something that's $5, then that $45 transaction is still gonna count as a purchase. So just bear in mind, you can't return everything and expect it to still be a valid purchase. Do the purchases expire? Yes, members earn rewards after making three qualified purchases within a 12 month period. So you don't have to purchase something every week, every month, but if you purchase something in January and then you don't purchase anything again till July, 
and then you're going to want to make your third purchase you know by the end of December because in January that first purchase is going to fall off and no longer counts. Hopefully you don't let things sit on there that long. Um, how many transactions can I earn per day? You can earn one transaction per store per day. So one, one, one. Um, do online transactions count as purchases? And yes, they do. And online in the same day to earn two purchases a day. Shop in store and online in the same day to earn two purchases in a day. So you could do one transaction online and you can do one transaction in store and it counts for two even though they're on the same day. I made a purchase at a store but forgot my rewards card. Can I add it to my account? And the answer to that is yes. Log into your account and enter previous receipts, uh, the receipt, and then follow the prompts or you can call the customer care number and they will help you add it to your account. What if I shop frequently? We'd love for you to shop for, with us more frequently. You can earn one reward per week, but if you shop more during a week, any additional earned rewards will carry over into future weeks and carry forward for up to 12 months. So you can earn one reward per week but if I went into the store and I bought something every single day of the week, then that is actually going to earn me more than one reward per week, but it stays on the account. So if the next week I don't purchase anything, um, I still have a reward. So, and, and they can stay on the account for up to 12 months. Um, furniture bonus questions. What is considered furniture to get the uh, furniture bonus? Indoor furniture, sofas, love seats, couches, beds, you know, that kind of thing, as well as patio furniture, gazebos, and umbrellas. How is the furniture bonus calculated? It is based on uh, net purchase. So if you net purchase, if your net purchase is $200 or over, the transaction is a qualifying purchase. So it has to be over $200. Um, if I spend 100 in qualified purchase, can I carry this forward? to apply to my next furniture purchase? And the answer is no. It has to be at least $200 for it to qualify for a furniture bonus. Um, is there a limit on how much I can earn? You can earn up to $50 for a furniture bonus with each transaction. $50 um, is equal to $1,000 uh, of a qualifying purchase. So, and that is the most you can do. So you go in, you buy, you know, a whole living room set that cost a thousand dollars. You can expect to get a fifty dollar um, reward for that. Does a furniture bonus purchase count toward my three? Yes. Every, after a qualifying purchase, you're only two transactions away for a five dollar reward. So you go in, you use your furniture bonus, and that counts as a qualifying purchase. So anytime you use a bonus, it is your first qualifying purchase for the next one. Um, and then birthday surprise, how do I provide my birthday? You access your account online, edit your profile, and include um, that information. What is the birthday surprise? And it is just that. It is a surprise. They don't disclose it. Um, and how will I receive my birthday surprise? It will be emailed to your email address and uh, so you need to always make sure that your email address is correct. Okay, so that hopefully explains the reward program at Big Lots and I also wanted to say that aside from their reward program, they sometimes do in-store promotions like um, a couple of weeks ago they had a Kimberly Clark um, promotion so that would be like Cottonelle and Kleenex um, and it was spend 25 and get $5 off. So they do what we would consider like an instant savings. And so that sometimes makes for um, some great deals because they are wanting you to purchase a specific dollar amount and then you get an additional savings. Um, plus again, I can't say enough how um, great their clearance is, at least on, um, on food items and you know watch expiration dates and things because that is really why items are clearanced out 
I noticed is not so much that they will no longer carry that product, but the expiration on that batch of um, items is per perhaps nearing, you know, um, nearing, and so they want to move it out quickly. And I have seen that they really don't joke about clearance. It'll go, you know, like from 50% off, and then all of a sudden it's like 90% off. So great, great clearance um, at Big Lots. And then, of course, they do the clearancing out of kind of their seasonal items, and um, that would be, you know, like Easter decor that was, it went all the way to 90% off, and, um, you know, they will do their springtime, I think they had some Mother's Day things, so those will eventually, you know, clearance out. So there is great ways to save more than just, you know, that they do sometimes have really great prices. So... What I wanted to share with you in regards to a, a little bit of a haul is I shared with you guys that I received a $40 reward. So it was $40, and I will put an image here. It was $40, when you, $40 off when you spend $60. So we just reviewed the program. The only way that I'm able to get that is a furniture purchase. So we went into the store. I fell in love with this little, this sectional couch. You've seen it in a couple of my videos when I am in my living room. And um, it is gray. It is a gray sectional couch and it has pink pillows. And what looks to me, because the pillows kind of draw out the color, is like pink, pink stitching. Very light, pale pink. And um, you will see it because I do videos in my... Um, living room sometimes so we went in we purchased that couch and then within a couple of days I had a reward for $40 off a $60 purchase now I got excited about it I mentioned it a couple times that I needed to go and do that and I didn't get to it so the day that I thought okay I'm gonna go use my $40 coupon Guess what? It expired two days ago. $40. I just like let $40 expire. I get upset when one of my CVS extra care bucks for a dollar, you know, goes unused. And so to let $40 expire, um, yeah, that was very sad. So I was just going to chalk it up to, you know, bummer, right? However, I decided to go ahead and send an email to their customer support and I was just, you know, very honest. I said, thank you so much. I received this reward. Um, unfortunately, I did not pay attention to the expiration date and believed that perhaps, you know, it was going to expire in a month I, and I didn't read it. I did not know at all how many days I had to use it, but in the back of my mind, I, I just guess that it would be you know within a month use it within a month and so I said it was my fault I let this expire and I wanted to request um, that perhaps maybe they could give me a one-time courtesy to reactivate my coupon and if they couldn't then I understood and you know I appreciated the reward regardless so within a day, I got a response back and they said that they were extending to me a one-time courtesy because their policy specifically says that the coupons expire. They expire and cannot be reactivated. And so they were extending to me this one-time courtesy and to please know that in the future, my coupons um, expiration dates were, you know, definite and so they reacted within two I took two days to get it back on my account after they told me they said within you know 24 to 48 hours the coupon would be back on my account and it sure enough was within two days um, so I did get it back and um, I would say don't let them expire because their willingness to do that um, you know they may not want to and they don't have to they're website their policy everything is very very clear once i realized that it had expired and i checked and i read and i knew that um, they didn't have to but i decided to go ahead and just ask so um so i did get my coupon 
and I went that day that I noticed I had the coupon I went to get my stuff so here is my um, my receipt and um, I paid out of pocket um, $26 and my total let me see my subtotal was $26 so before the coupon $40 off it was $66 and so here you can see um, you can see the coupon the items I bought you can see my total you can see the discount subtracted $40 and then my subtotal was $26 so what did I get well I went through the store and I was thinking that um, you know I really didn't know what I needed what I wanted I could have got you know a whole bunch of you know soap or I could have got laundry detergent or you know anything it's good for anything other than milk and eggs and you know the items that that we said a little while ago so could have got anything at all and um, yeah so but what I decided to get was something that I had been wanting to do and um, I saw this and I thought I would go ahead and do it so I told you just a minute ago that I got a new couch it is gray it has pink pillows on it a very soft pink um, because I don't want to I love the color pink but I don't want it you know just blaring in your face it wouldn't be great to you know decorate completely in pink with um, with the guys in my house right so uh, I think gray and pink is a very subtle it's very I, I love it and so I have decided that that's what I wanted to do throughout the house and so that is what made me fall in love with that couch and um, and buy it that that day I, I saw it I took, I called Henry, said, please come to the store, look at this, and bring your truck, right? So, um, so we did get it. Now, um, I wanted to do, I want to do that throughout the house, and I am adding a little bit of pink, like, in the kitchen. I have some pale pink plates and gray, and so that is just so you know, that's what I'm doing. So, in my, um, in our bedroom there is obviously our master bedroom and there isn't any real color scheme to it um, I have some wall art and stuff that I had previously but I'd really like to just kind of transition to gray and pink so I saw that they had this is a fabric um, shower curtain and I really like the print on it and this is the soft pink that I want so I noticed this and right away thought, oh, that's what I'll do with my, um, you know, my $40 coupon. Um, I went ahead and bought this shower curtain. It is, um, it was $10. And then I purchased some towels. And I can't even tell you how soft these are, guys. These are, um... A Prima and they are a hundred percent cotton um, they are fade resistant well these are um, this is a gray color but oh my gosh they are so so soft and so I decided to get some towels that is what I got so I am gonna get more of these but I purchased two of the gray and two of the pink so let me grab these out of the bag here and they just feel so amazing guys so this is what I got I got two of the pink and two of the gray and I can't wait to you know get these up um, and then I got the pink shower curtain and um, then in addition to that oh the towels were eight dollars a piece so for the four towels is already thirty-two dollars and then ten dollars for the shower curtain and um, on my couch I have well the couch is gray and I have um, the pink accent pillows um, and on my bed I have kind of a quilt our bedroom in our bedroom we have a quilt and it has some um, some pink in it and I've never really thought to you know do anything specific with it I just love the light pink color and I love quilts so that is what we have on our bed and um, I saw these pillows and just thought that would be perfect use the existing quilt that I have on our bed 
and add some accent pillows in gray and in pink. I didn't, they didn't have a pink color of pillow that I wanted, and so I just purchased the two gray pillows, um, and that is going to start to tie in pink and gray in, you know, in my house. So these were twelve dollars a piece. So twelve dollars a piece. I got the two pillows. I got the shower curtain, right? The shower curtain. This kind of started the whole idea, and then, um, and then the uh, gray and pink um, towels. So all of that together was sixty-six dollars. Um, they subtracted forty dollars with my coupon, and I only had to pay twenty-six out of pocket. I think that is a great deal because um, because it is. I got four, five, six, seven items for twenty-six dollars. That is bargain, right? Especially for what they are. So that is what I did with my coupon, and um, the only thing I will say is, do not let your coupons expire because that is, there's no reason for them to give them back to you. They were kind, they did, but you don't wanna, you know, bank on that. So that is what I purchased, and I am really excited about it. I can't wait to get that up. Now, I did look at their wall decor, and they do have some great items. However, I have seen their wall decor, you know, they kind of switch it out seasonally, and um, it will get discounted. So I didn't want to get any of that. I, I will, I'm okay waiting for clearance on stuff like that. And um, so, yeah, that's what I got. And I think it's a, it's a great place to shop. If you don't have a big lots, then, um, you know, I, I don't want to get you excited about something that, that you don't have uh, near you. But um, if you even if you travel somewhere and you visit and, you know, look it up and see if they have a big lots and stop in, you can get some great deals. And if you only shop at places where, you know, they uh, accept coupons, then don't count Big Lots out just because our manufacturer coupons don't work there. You can still get some great deals. And I'm going to continue to shop there. Um, I shop their clearance and uh, I will share, continue to share haul videos of things that I pick up there. If I notice that they're doing any kind of promotion, like the Kimberly Clark buy 25, get five, they did one, I think it was Purina, and, you know, buy 30 and get 10 or something like that. If I notice that they're doing something like that, then I will, of course, let you guys know. I will say that those promotions are not, that when I have seen them, they are not advertised in their sales flyer. So, you know, you have to go in the store and kind of see what's going on. And I do, so if I notice something, I will share it. So that is it, guys. I hope that that makes, you know, gives you some insight into Big Lots. Hopefully, um, if it, you have one near you, that you will give it a shot. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Have you been shopping at Big Lots? Is there any advice or any tips that you want to give me? Please, please do. And um, if you've had any bad experience at Big Lots, then let me know that too. We'd love to know. Um, I wanted to add at the end of my videos that I invite you, each each of you, to join our new Facebook group. When I um, when our channel, and I say our channel, and I say we because it really is about all of us. It's not my channel, it is our channel, and it is we. So we reached um, 5,000 subscribers on my channel, um, and I am super excited about it because it took like two months to do it. like. Not long at all. Um, and so, yeah, that is, I never thought, you know, I thought maybe I'd have, you know, five, ten people <laughs> watch my videos. So to have 5,000 people already subscribed to my channel is, it just blesses my heart. And so I wanted to do something to celebrate the growth of a true community. And so I have created a Facebook group for us, us, me and you guys. Um, that we can, you know, exchange ideas, share, share photos, post, you know, your haul clips or photos or ask questions and we can truly help each other within a community that is safe, friendly, and kind. I'm going to say that again. It is safe, friendly, and kind. If you have negativity, if you want to, you know, gripe about things or complain about others or anything like that, then, you know, we don't want you in the group. 
I want people that um, that are going to be happy, that are going to share ideas, encourage, and help each other. So that is the purpose of the Facebook group. And there will be a link in this video and every video after this so that you can um, join if you want to. It does require you to answer three questions and you do have to answer the questions in order to um, get your request approved. Um, one of them is, what is your YouTube ID? Why do I want that? I'm gonna check membership. I want it to be a group for my subscribers. And so please do tell me what your um, YouTube ID is. If you don't answer the questions, your request is not gonna get approved. And I wanna approve everybody. So please, you know, just answer the questions. They are super simple. It is, what is your YouTube ID? How long have you been couponing? And what is your favorite store to coupon at? Um, I hope to use the Facebook group to also brainstorm ideas, try to do things that you guys want to see. And um, yeah, so I'm excited about it. I am happy that we already have some people joining, but the goal is not, oh, I want a million members. I, I would rather have a small circle of just positive and helpful and friendly bunch. So if you want to be part of that, then I invite you and I will welcome you. So thank you guys for watching. As always, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time.